is Cindy, aka Disney Queen, and today we're doing part two of 55 Facts About Cindy. So, stay tuned. Okay, the last time that we talked, I left you with 20 si 27 facts about Cindy. Today, I'm going to finish it up with part two. So, the first fact about me is that I am 55 years of age, hence the 55 Facts About Cindy video. The second thing I'd like to tell you is I love the beach and the ocean, but I don't like sand in my feet. As a matter of fact, I don't like sand on my body. Um, so I tend to stick to the boardwalk. Where we live, we're about 15-20 mm, minutes from the ocean front, depending on a traffic on that day. And so when we go, we have this huge sandy area, but we also have this beautiful boardwalk that you can walk on. So my favorite thing to do at the beach is not to actually sit on the beach um, or to go in the ocean because we don't have ocean water like they do in the Caribbean. But I love walking on the boardwalk. I love sitting on the benches on the boardwalk and watching the people go by. I love the sound of the ocean. Um, I love the sound of the seagulls in the background. I don't like the seagulls, but I love the sound of the seagulls in the background. And so my favorite thing to do down at the oceanfront is to just go and sit and chill. I like it when it's not too hot. Um, when the ter 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 when the tourists have not started to come in um, and it's still just the local people kind of walking around or if they have like a special fair, I might go down there for that. We don't go as often as you would think living that close to the beach. Um, but when I go to the beach, that's what I like to do. Number three, speaking of feet, I do not like looking at people's feet. I don't like looking at my own feet. Um, I don't walk around barefoot. As a matter of fact, I put socks on my feet. If I'm in, even in the house, I just don't like saying dirt, anything on my feet, whether inside or outside. You will not catch me walking barefoot outside. Let's see, number four. My favorite movies are comedies or family friendly movies. Um, I will watch like a drama series every once in a while, but if it's too serious, I don't really enjoy it. Um, I don't do scary movies. Uh, let's see what else. I don't like like really violent movies. Um, so I kind of stick to comedies or family friendly movies and I love old black and white movies. Number five, I have two middle names. I'm not gonna tell you what those two middle names are but I have two middle names. My sister has two middle names and my sister, uh, twins that she just had, have two middle names. I decided when I had children that I was not going to make them have two middle names. Plus it's hard to come up with two middle names. So they each have only one middle name. Let's see. Number six, I can't sleep without a ceiling fan and I can't sleep without a fan. And I actually have like a, stand a fan on a stand beside me on the bed I mean people I'm 55 think about it okay number seven I suffer from my I have suffered from migraines since I was a child um they had started to dissipate a few years ago and so I wasn't getting them as frequently as I did when I was a teenager and when I was a young adult um, as a matter of fact, my migraines were so bad that I would have like the, um, not just the spots, but like I would have to go in a room, close the door, take no lights, no blind, the, no sun coming in, no sounds. Um, as a matter of fact, it would be so bad sometimes I would throw up. Thank goodness it's not like that anymore. But as I've gotten older, they've started coming back and some of it probably is stress, uh, but I would not want anyone to suffer from migraines. They are that bad. My youngest daughter also suffers from migraines. Um, and my mom suffered from migraines until she's turned a certain age and then hers went away. So it runs in our family. Let's see. Number eight. I have never, ever played video games. And... That's probably very frustrating to my son, who is a gamer. <laughs> but I'm just not into games. And along that same vein, I don't like board games. That is number nine. And I know most people don't understand that. I'm just not a game person. 
And number 10. I think the reason that I'm not into board games is I don't like being competitive. I don't have a competitive bone in my body. I will not fight you over anything. I will not try to outdo you. I always say, you do you, I do me. If you really want it that bad, you go for it. But I'm not going to fight you for it. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Number 11. My favorite dessert of all time is key lime cheesecake. Oh my goodness. If you stick a piece, a slice of key lime cheesecake in front of me, I will devour it. As a matter of fact, please don't stick a whole cake in front of me, a whole pie cake in front of me. Oh my goodness. I would probably scoop it up and eat it all. I have to restrain myself when it comes to key lime cheesecake. Number 12, my favorite non-Disney restaurant is the Cheesecake Factory and a local restaurant that is local to our area and it's in a hotel and it's called the Swan Terrace and they have the best buffet. And I'm not really a buffet person except for when I'm at Disney, but this is a place that I will go to um, and I usually go to celebrate my birthday there. Okay, number... Oh, I was going to say, I used to be an Olive Garden person. Um, but I have high blood pressure. And I noticed a few years ago after we had completely cut down our salt intake that when I went to Olive Garden, I didn't enjoy it as much. The food tasted very, very salty. So it's not one of my favorite places anymore. Um... But I love, love Italian food. And I know that's not true Italian, like if you went to Italy, Italian. But that was as close as I was going to get to Italian food. And I really, really miss it. So I tend to make my own Italian food at home. Yeah, pasta and I have a thing going on. Number 13, my favorite TV series is anything NCIS related. NCIS LA, NCIS, NCIS New Orleans. That is about as gory as I will get when it comes to TV shows, is I love me some NCIS. Number 14, my favorite TV shows at the moment are Madam Secretary and The Resident. And boom. And you will notice that I said that I prefer comedies and family-friendly movies, but none of those exist. I mean, none of those are on this list. And the reason for that is... I don't enjoy the comedies that are on TV nowadays. I like the comedies from years ago um, when comedy was a little cleaner, but I just don't enjoy comedies anymore on TV. And I really, I that really makes me sad because I used to watch all of the series that were comedy shows, but I just don't enjoy them as much anymore. I also don't watch as much TV as I used to watch. I tend to stick to YouTube. Number 15, in part one of my 55, in part one of my 55 facts about me video, I mentioned that I am not a sports person. I couldn't even tell you how the games are played. But one thing you don't know about me is I am a diehard Eagles fan. And I still don't know how what they're doing. But if there's an Eagles uh, in the Super Bowl or if Eagles are playing, yeah. That's the only time I watch football. <laughs> Number 16. As a teen, I wanted to be a flight attendant until I took my first flight. Number 17. Speaking of flying, the first time that I got on a plane, I was 20 years old. I might have, I might have been 21. And I had two babies with me. I had one baby strapped on my chest and I had one baby in a stroller and I was headed overseas to Germany on an eight-hour flight to meet my husband <laughs> because he had already left for Germany. So the very first time that I got on a plane, I did not have time to be scared because I had two babies to be ta to take care of. So in a way, that's probably a good thing. God knew I did not need to be trying to get on that flight by myself because when I have gotten on flights since that time, as my kids have gotten older, yeah, I just don't like getting on planes. Which is why we usually drive to Disney World. Number 19. I don't like seafood. Number, this is number 18. I don't like seafood. I'm not a shrimp, lobster, whatever you... And part of that is I don't even really like going to um, 
the aquarium because when I see fish, it gives me the willies and I can't imagine eating them. So, the only exception to that rule is I like fish sticks. And I know it's not the real fish, but I will eat fish sticks over eating other fish. Um, in the last couple of years, I forced myself to eat uh, some fish um, because I've tried to cut down on some of the other things that I eat. Um, but I don't ever enjoy it. As a matter of fact, if I eat fish, um, like my husband likes breaded tilapia. If I eat fish sticks or like something like breaded tilapia, I have to smother it in tartar sauce. That is the only way I can get it down. <laughs> so, number 19. Even though I don't like seafood and don't really like fish, I love hush puppies. Oh my goodness. If you stick a pan of hush puppies in front of me, you better be prepared for me to eat the whole thing because I love hush puppies. If they're made well, I don't have to have anything on them. I don't need ketchup. I don't need butter. I don't. I will just eat the hush puppy hot. Oh my goodness. Now I want some hush puppies. Number 20. My favorite food to eat is Italian food. Um, and I think I said this early and I wasn't supposed to say it in that part of the thing. But yeah, pasta and I have a thing going on. I could eat pasta all day long. It's just not good for my hips or my stomach. So yeah, I have to cut back on that pasta sometimes. Okay, number 21. Photography is one of my favorite hobbies. Um, but I don't do it as much as I used to. Um, about... I think it was seven years ago. It might have been a little longer. I'm getting old, people. You know, I don't remember dates as well as I used to. I painted my pantry in our kitchen. And two days later, I was in serious pain. Um, and we couldn't figure out at first what was wrong. We later found out that I had a pinched nerve. And we were able to get some help to take care of it. But ever since then, I have had pains in my hands and my arms. And I just don't pick up my camera as much as I used to. Um, because a lot of things are just too heavy for me to, to, to carry around. And so that was really hard for me when we went to Disney a couple of years ago. Because I love taking pictures. And I love taking pictures at Disney. So the next time I go to Disney, I'm really hoping that I can pick up my camera and use it a little bit more. I used to even take a lot more pictures at my church and I don't do that as much as I used to. So I really miss that hobby. Number 22, um, twins run rampant in my family on both sides. Thankfully, I have not had twins, um, but my husband is a twin. Um, his mom had another set of twins. Unfortunately, they did not um, survive. Um, my grandmother on my mother's side had twins, um, my, my uncles and her sister, her sisters were twins and one of the sister twins had twins <laughs> and the other twin had a grandchild who eventually had twins. And did I mention that my sister recently had twins? <laughs> so yeah, twins run in our family. Um, and we it's a it's a running joke that one of my children may end up having twins because there's just so many twins in our family. But it wasn't me. Thank you, Lord. Uh number 23. I have very few pet peeves, but one big one for me is don't touch my food. Don't drink out of my a cup um don't put your finger in my food <laughs> um i'm just saying we don't share food um if you want to taste some of my food i will get a separate plate i mean i'll get a separate plate i'll get a separate fork and i will spoon some out for you and you can eat off of your plate but don't eat off of my plate that is my one pet peeve don't drink out of my cup don't um eat from my plate my children and I, we don't even do that. <laughs> um, my husband, and it, 
honestly, it all started because years and years and years ago when my babies were babies, my husband um, was feeding our children and they didn't eat all their food. So he decided he was going to eat the rest of it. And he got sick as a dog. And from that moment on, none of us ate out of each other's food. And my children are the same way. Don't eat out of their plate. Don't eat, drink out of their cup. Let's see. Number 24. My favorite form of music is gospel, soul, or jazz. Number 25. My favorite colors are aqua blue and mint green. Number 26. One of my favorite singers is Celine Dion. I really wish I could see Celine Dion. I really wish I could see Celine in concert. But people, her tickets, well, not just her tickets. Tickets are expensive to go to concerts. But Celine's tickets in Las Vegas, oh my God. Karen, you can attest to this. It's crazy. Um, I don't have that kind of money. If I had that kind of money, I'd be going to Disney. I love you, Celine, but I don't love you that much, girl. Number 27. If I could have three Disney wishes fulfilled, it would be one, to have the ability to travel to Disney whenever I would like. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Number two, to be able to eat at all the Disney restaurants of my choosing. And number three, uh, oh wow, I never finished number three. So let's see, number three, travel to Disney whenever I like, eat at the restaurant of my choice, and stay at a different resort every time no matter which one it was deluxe dvc value moderates just be able to go to a different one every time that would be number three okay hey guys we're almost at the last one number 28 the last fact about me if i could have three non-disney wishes what would they be one it would be that poverty would not exist two it would for racism and hate to not exist. And three, for good health for everyone. So guys, that is 55 facts about Cindy in celebration of me turning 55. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something about me that you didn't know. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Oh, and by the way, thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you like this video and the one before it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to know when the next video comes out, all you have to do is hit that not little notification bell below. And until I see you the next time, have a blessed day. Bye.